Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. You know, I always ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But today, I'm going to also ask you guys kindly to share the video as well. I always ask for the, for the like and the subscription, but when you start, ask for the share as well. Both free and easy way. Well, all those three ways are free and easy ways to support the channel. In this particular video, we're talking about this particular individual on your screen. A player that many reggae boys fans have a lot of time for, and that is left back Greg Lee. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this I saw this particular story yesterday. Men see nobody at talk about it or say nothing about it. So, you know, me, well, even if other people did videos on it, I still would have done a video on it nonetheless. But I just figured I would bring it to you guys' attention for those who are not aware. Left fullback Greg Lee, reggae boy left back Greg Lee has signed for Ipswich Town, ladies and gentlemen. So Greg Lee last season was at Morecambe in the same league, the English League One scene. Greg Lee has now made a transfer move to Ipswich Town, one of the more prestigious clubs in the English League One league scene. So we're going to jump into the story quickly and show you guys what is taking place with our left fullback Greg Lee. All right, so on your screen, you see Greg Lee joins town and this is on the Ipswich Town website, Ipswich Town Football Club website. They would have published this particular article. Greg Lee joins town. Goes on to read, Jamaica International pens two-year deal with Greg Lee is town's third signing of the summer. The left back who spent last season in League One with Morecambe has spent a two-year deal with the Blues. Born in Sale, the now 27-year-old came through the ranks at Manchester City enjoying a well at crew before departing the Etihad Stadium on a, on a permanent basis in Bradford City. And he had a, a very successful time at Bradford City and this was in 2015. After one season with the Bantams, Greg opted to join Bury. No, it, which one it was? It was Bury or, or, or Bradford. One of them, he had a very, very, very successful time with them. But after one season with the Bantam, I'm going to have memory right now, so forgive me, forgive me, guys. After one season with the Bantams, Greg opted to join Bury, where he spent two seasons competing in the third tier. He then swapped. I think it was I think it was Bury he had the successful time at the memory serve, right? But don't quote me on that. He then swapped Greater Manchester for the Netherlands, signing for Dutch first division side. Now, Breda, the defender spent the 2019-2020 campaign on loan at Aberdeen before making the move permanent a year later. Greg Lee at Aberdeen, it was a rough time for him because he was suffering with a lot of injuries at Aberdeen and hence did not, you know, did not get as much game time as he would have liked. Greg, who had previously represented him at U19 level, was also called up to Jamaica during his time with the Scottish outfit, making his reggae boys debut against Saudi Arabia in November 2020. Now he has eight caps for the reggae boys, most, fe most recently featuring in a 2-1 World Cup qualifier win over Honduras in March. It's a massive step for me and I'm really excited. I told I follow up switch after signing for the Blues. I'm a physical player with speed and agility who is also good in the air. Very aggressive player. Very direct sort of a player as well. I will add those to it as well. I'm comfortable on the ball and I'll hopefully be able to show that I can do both sides of the game going forward as well as defensively. Town manager Kieran McKenney added we are delighted to have Greg on board. 
he has lots of good physical attributes which will add to the squad he comes with good pedigree having been through the academy at manchester city as well as playing u19 for england and at senior international level with jamaica we have got three through the door fairly early on which is great and i'm pleased with the business we have done so far i am also delighted that we have secured the features of the futures of some of our senior players as well some of the younger players who will continue as well as some of the younger players who will continue to develop over the coming years in and around the squad so this is on the Ipswich town website what you're seeing on this what you just saw on the screen the article now there's another article i'm going to share with you guys quickly as well also on the ipswich town website and this one is titled greg on portman road move so this is greg speaking a bit on the move this is another article on the ipswich town website i came from the background of playing that type of football so he knows that he can entrust me to do that greg Lay says that kieran mckenna's brand of football was a big influence in him signing for a town the left back who has joined on a free transfer after departing morecombe became the third addition of the summer when he penned a two-year deal greg follows freddie ladapo ladapo and Tom Ball in signing ahead of the 2022-2023 campaign, which is set to begin on Saturday, the 30th of July. For real, that's so early the season has start back. I guess, oh, well, I don't know, probably because we're in our World Cup year. Interesting. And the World Cup is going to be later on down in the year. Having progressed through the academy at Manchester City, the Jamaica International is looking forward to returning to a possession-based style of football next term. Interesting. I was chatting with the manager about the club, the way he wants to play my role and where the club wants to go. And that was all massive for me in making my decision, the 27-year-old said. The talks were really positive. The manager spoke about the the manager spoke about playing a lot of football on the floor playing around teams and keeping possession of the football. That's something I haven't done in my recent career, but it was something I grew up do doing. I came from the background of playing that type of football, so he knows he can entrust me to do that. In the latter years of my youth team days, up until the U21s, we played purely possession football. The idea was to keep possession of the ball and control games. The manager here really believes in that and I do as well. So that's why I think it's a good fit. Last year at Morecambe was a chance for me to show what I could do, especially defensively when you're playing in a team that doesn't have the lion's share of possession a lot of the time. The new challenge for me will be playing in a team that has got the ball and got the ball a lot more and looking to create more going forward and it says greg first interview can be seen here below on the ipswich town website so guys you know that's greg lay talking about the reasons why he made the move to ipswich town right and speaking you know that basically it's the brand of football that really played a massive part in attracting him to the club want to show you guys something very quickly as well this is the point standing of the english league one last season so see there on your screen ladies and gentlemen and you would have seen that Ipswich town placed 11th in the english league one table last season in the 2014 table Ipswich town finished 11th on 70 points 13 points of 6th place Wickham who grabbed that last playoff spot. So they were a little way off but they weren't too far too far off that playoff spot especially relatively speaking in comparison 
with Morecambe, the club that Greg Lee would have just made the move from. Now, if you look at your screen, you see Morecambe in comparison finished in 19th place on 42 points, 28 points behind Ipswich Town. Morecambe finished just outside the relegation zone. Four points off the relegation zone with Doncaster who finished 22nd and 38 points. As I'm, I think I think they only secured, if memory serves right, they, they secured safety on the pe penultimate day. If memory serves me right. I mean, I bring this up to say that I think that this is a very good move for the player. Ipswich Town is a bigger club than Morecambe, that is facts. You know, far bigger club. I think it's a great move for him because Ipswich Town has far more realistic hopes of quali of getting promoted back to the championship than a Morecambe would. Morecambe just made the move last season from the English fourth tier. Or the season before last season, they would have won the English fourth tier and gained promotion to the third tier. So it's a smaller club than Ipswich. Ipswich far more realistic hopes of making that jump to the championship. And Ipswich Town is a far more prestigious and accomplished football club. Far more prestigious and accomplished football club. And Ipswich Town, you know, just to give you an idea of the gap in size of both clubs, Ipswich Town plays in a 30,000-seater stadium, while Morecambe plays in a 6,000-seater stadium, right? And Ipswich Town has won, you know, they have, they, have, they have a couple of trophies in their trophy cabinet compared to a beer trophy cabinet for Morecambe. So, guys, you know, great move for Greg Lay making the jump in the same league, yes, but from a smaller club, one of the smaller clubs in the league to a bigger more prestigious club in the English League One. We wish our left back Greg Lee all uh, the best in the games that I saw him for Morecambe. You know, he did well. And so I guess that would have impressed Ipswich Town to bring him in. So good luck to Greg Lee. You know, all the best to Greg Lee and all the best to Ipswich Town as well as they go on a hunt to try and gain promotion back. To the championship so guys that's my two cents smash like button subscribe if you haven't already share the video as well free and easy ways to support and until next time